Okay, I thought we'd gone away forever, folks. You have Lisa Yap is here, and Lisa Yap is our music and uh, rock and club critic. And Lisa has brought a very special gentleman, famous rock guitarist Rick Derringer. Rick and Lisa, welcome to our show. Yeah, it's great to be here. It's a shame everybody couldn't see you, though, during the break. I'm happy they did. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you were going, come on, come on, let's get it going, come on, let's keep well, the was, show going. I was, I was praying, yeah, I was, was praying, great. I was praying. It was fantastic. I was praying. That was an entertainer. <laughs> and you are an entertainer. Uh, You're, we just saw a cover of your new album. also a technical album. whiz. A you technical should, yeah, whiz. You should have seen him upstairs in the green room. The speakers up there, the feedback with this gala green room upstairs. And yeah, we saw the... Audio it's just the speaker up there. It's not the speakers on the show. Oh, thank you. Rick, you are going to be in an upcoming Bob Hope Thanksgiving special. Special. You're doing a taping of Solid Gold in California. You worked with Bonnie Tyler, right, on a, on a yeah. new uh, cut. Your is wife great. is a music rep reporter for the Playboy. <laughs> you, you have a, this new album out. You, you work in the studio. You're doing a Universal movie soundtrack for Bachelor Pad. You've well, done so many too. things. Uh, you're, a, you're a renaissance rock man, it seems to me. What would you say about that? That's a partial list. A partial <laughs> list. Right. I don't, uh, it's hard to keep up with myself nowadays, but I feel real good. What have you been That's doing? Because every time, you seem like you lead like one of these, one of the good lives in rock and roll. I mean, every time I talk to you or I talk to Liz, you're just going to Japan. You've come back to Japan. You're thinking about Japan. You're at California. I mean, what, is, what happened this week, for example, in your life? I mean, this week, I, I just got back from Japan. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. You were talking about Bachelor Pad. Bachelor Pad. That's new Adrian Zamed movie. Uh -huh. And I produced some stuff for Adrian and uh, some great girls called the Angels, Angel and the Reruns for the same movie. Now, Adrian Zamed, where do we know him T.J. Hooker. T.J. Hooker. And there's another actor you're working with also. David Keith. David Keith from uh, Officer and a Gentleman. Among other things. Among other things. He's one of my favorite actors in the world. Not to say Adrian isn't. <laughs> what do you but do as, when you work with these guys? What, do you, what is it that you impart to them? What secrets of the music world do you? Um, I think in those two cases, it's just giving them confidence. Adrian is a TV actor who, who would like to be a movie actor, maybe. <laughs> um, but he is not a recording artist yet. Now, he's done some... Uh, work in that area, and I said, this guy's great. So we took the uh, chance to help him and try to make a record that was really valid from um, a musical point of view. Not just a guy uh, who can capitalize on his success in the music business. And well, I thought he was great. You've worked with Same thing with David Keith. You've worked with so many people. I mean, you have the DNA project with Common a piece, right? He's used to work with Rod Stewart. Am I spreading myself? In <laughs> no, that's not what I was going to ask you. I have other interests. That's what I'm asking myself. No, Rick, really. Can you? I mean, it's just you and me here. Can we talk? We're in New about York, and I live just down the street. <laughs> yeah, I know. What are you doing after the show, Lisa? We can talk about that too. <laughs> but what I want to ask is, who? Who is like the most difficult person you've ever worked with? I mean, can we get some scoop, some dish, like the true story? Is Moogie I mean, listening now? <laughs> maybe, we are going to talk not. about Moogie. No, Moogie was great. Meatloaf. Let great. me just run that by you. Uh, meatloaf is not difficult to work with at all. I think Meatloaf is really getting uh, the royal shaft right now in his life. He's he's a fantastic performer, and he's. He's come across some hard times, and you open up papers and you read really nasty, nasty things costly for years. that one person wouldn't say to another person. And he's a great guy, and he's a great performer. And uh, What about Carla DeVito? How's she to work with? <laughs> Carla's fantastic. She's another great person. What she about you, bad. Rick? What do you like to oh, work with? I'm bad. I'm hard. I'm hard to <laughs> work with. Get an attitude? For. Well, no. I mean, a guy like you no. has been like working, and you've no. made a lot. No attitude. You've made a lot of progress. You don't no. have any attitude. No, but I try to be honest sometimes, and that's some. Um, well, I think that's what people pay for when they come to you. They pay for honesty, don't you? Mm-hmm. I think so. Yeah, and with some exaggeration. Uh, cool out there. In the <laughs> for a Let's minute. talk a little bit about some of your projects. Uh, rock secrets. What What is Rick Derringer's rock secrets? Rock secrets. Oh well, wow. I should have a list of all these things. That's a book. That's a guitar mm -hmm. technique book that, that I've 
this is embarrassing going through all these things I'm doing nowadays. No, I'm curious. I, it's I, I have become technique. very busy in the last couple of years, and it's specifically because I wanted to do these things. Um, I've been playing the guitar since I was nine years old. I'm 36 now. That's 27 years of guitar playing. I started playing when Elvis Presley really broke in the music business. And before that, there were only... Jimi Hendrix wasn't invented, and Jimmy Page wasn't invented, and Jeff Beck wasn't invented. None of these people existed. So my idols were people like Elvis Presley's guitar player, Scotty Moore, or Les Paul, who came before that, or Django Reinhardt, who came before that, and West Montgomery, and people like that. So I come from a long time ago, and uh, over the years, I figured out that guitar players nowadays don't have to be taught how to play guitar. Everybody knows you can pick up the guitar and go, I pluck on this end, my fingers go on this end. Once people had to be told that, mm -hmm. no more they don't. Can one transfer from the accordion to the guitar? Is that they can possible? transfer from anything to anything. But my idea is, you don't have to teach them how anymore, you just have to teach them how to be better. Mm -hmm. So these are uh, techniques, exercises, specific uh, things that I do myself. A beginner can take them and kind of get a shortcut toward getting better, and a professional can I, I do them myself, a lot of the exercises in the book, to yeah. uh, stay flexible and many other things, as a matter of fact. Now, Rick, everybody, every, all the press I've ever read about you, and I know you read your own mm. press, we all I'm love it, right? Uh, they all say, oh, you're the hottest, the best guitarist. I mean, Wherever stand I am, back, hot. Jimmy Page, but how do you rate yourself? Uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to rate myself. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, would you say, that, would you, say uh, no. that you maybe probably are? No, One I of the greatest I don't want living to, no, rock I won't guitars? say that. No. <laughs> I think uh, that's, that's an embarrassing question. You think so? I think rating, ratings are for other people. No, really, I'm trying to be honest. I play guitar. I do a lot of things. I make music. There's two kinds of music. There's good music and there's bad music. There's good and bad everything. I try to always go toward the positive and stay away from the negative. And it's everybody else to make their judgment whether or not I am. And now it's going to be tonight. It's going to be pretty hard for them to make that decision. I think. <laughs> no, now you have some interesting <laughs> projects coming up, in addition to, Too to which I mentioned, you're going on a tour, aren't you? I have an unbelievably fruitful life ahead of me. Going to I'm Japan going, uh, in February. Yeah, I have uh, several things out. I did a show at the Ritz a few months ago, and that was taped and and uh, recorded for a uh, twenty-four track uh, stereo recording, uh, state-of-the-art recording, and. Sony's going to release that on a video cassette. That's Sony was from Was that Japan. your benefit? Yes. That yeah, was, that, that really turned. That was a positive event. That's and how you turned. And Ted Nugent was on there, and positive. Southside Johnny, and Carla DeVito. You talked about Rick, in between touring, producing, recording, and songwriting, we, Lisa Yap and myself, are very glad, very lucky, very happy that you came by. I Everyone wish I had more time. Uh, <laughs> check out your new album and your new uh, video, which is you Shake Me. You should give me. me some more time, too, you know. We will. She'll be on a little bit in another section of the show. Maybe I want to thank all of week. you for watching this section of our show, especially the Channel 25 viewers, to whom we have to bid adieu.